Two years into this pandemic and many people are now studying the impacts all of that has had on our children. Much of it centers around distance learning, something teens have had more of than the younger children. And it is coming at a time when there's already a lot of stress at school and at home. Fox 9's Kelsey Carlson visited a school in Hutchinson recently that's offering some help with everything from homework to home life. Good morning, good morning guys. Hey, straight out of Minnesota. How are we doing? Good. good. Have a good day today. Each kid is coming with a different story. Rootster, give me some. I think I would say is kids are learning how to be kids again, learning how to be students. You know, you think the last year and a half, last two years, they've grown up behind a screen. Hey, yeah. today's going to be another great day, right? Good morning, good morning. to you. They're reestablishing that grit. This is 7.30 a.m. Top of the morning, top of the morning. The every morning routine. Give me some, give me some. The grit. Oh! oh. Yes, psych. Of Hutchinson Middle School. Is tonight we'll have the after school um, homework until 3.30 again. Where they have a class taught by a school counselor and a family counselor instead of a teacher. We're just going to wrap our arms around and say, what do you need today? You need a high five today. You need a fist bump today. You want to talk about what happened yesterday or last night. We just want to be here for them. Hutchinson and Chad Harlander started this program called Reach in 2007 at the high school, where they reach out. They help kids with anything from homework to home life and hard days. I told a story about my family once, like someone I loved that passed away. And I started crying here. But no one really cared because this is a place where it's safe. This is the first year, though, that they've done this in the middle school. Kids are not only behind, you know, academically, you know, they're behind emotionally and socially, too. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, right now, I think, you know, I know this is not popular, but the focus needs to be on their emotional and social and to get our kids reconnected with, with each other. Eighth grader Maya Hacker popped her head in one day and asked if she could join. I heard that Reach is really good and helps like with mental health or homework and it's helped me a lot. When asked to write about their thoughts on the pandemic, here's what came to mind. Stress on mom. Family was worried about keeping the house. Started to think of self-harm. It's very homey in here. We have pictures of the kids. We want to create that culture of a team, a family. When you're doing wrong, we're going to be the first ones that are going to hold you accountable as well so you can grow as a person. If you got a grade that's below the line, we need you guys to come in from 9 to 2 tomorrow. Reach is a place that's safe. We are going to collectively build each other up one at a time. It's a place to talk. I told you it's going to get real. To learn. Think about how these words can build her up or tear her down, right? We are going to build each other up. And find support. Some of the students um, have really grown in ways that that I have never seen before. I have to be honest with you. So in a world where you can be anything, just remembering to be kind. The work also goes beyond the classroom with students giving back to their communities with service projects. And with 40 other schools in Minnesota now offering a REACH program, along with some other schools in South Dakota, REACH just continues to reach more kids. Kelsey Carlson, Fox 9. Mm. That has a lot of potential for a lot of different schools. It actually. does, yeah. And over the years doing stories with these kids, you notice that the stigma is fading as well, which is a really good sign. So these kids need to reach out for help. Makes me wonder how long it'll take before we really realize what the full impact of oh, yeah. this pandemic has been yeah, on those children. Be intense. Yeah. Yeah.